NBC News has fired longtime Today Show host Matt Lauer for what the network calls inappropriate sexual behavior. In a statement, NBC News Chairman Andy Lack said the network received a complaint from a colleague on Monday. The statement continues. It represented, after serious review, a clear violation of our company's standards. As a result, we've decided to terminate his employment. Lauer has anchored the Today Show on NBC for two decades. The iconic show was a ratings juggernaut, and it was highly lucrative for the network. It is the latest in a string of sexual harassment cases that have rocked the nation. Joining me now, Mona Charon. She's written extensively on this topic. She is a syndicated columnist and senior fellow at the Ethics and Public Policy Center. Welcome to the program. Glad to be here. We have also learned that Minnesota Public Radio has fired Garrison Keeler today for what they are calling improper behavior. Right. What do these firings today and for the last month say about the culture we live in? Well, it's um, pretty degraded, I would say. I mean, how, much, how low can we go? Any, anyone's guess at this point. Um, you know, this really is the hangover from the last 50 years of the sexual revolution um, where we decided that all of those old standards about how men and women should behave and about what it meant to be a gentleman or a lady were outdated and, and uh, we were beyond all that. And um, unfortunately, when now, some of this has always existed, even before the sexual revolution, but I think the sexual revolution Had gave something it, to do with oh, it. Oh, definitely. It why it, then it took now? all the barriers away. But why now is this happening? Why do men think they can get away with this? And why have women not defended themselves? Right. Well, it's a, it's a very, as you know, it's a very awkward position for a woman to be in, right? I, I mean, do know. First of all, right. <laughs> so, first of all, to come forward, what happens is you then are inviting the world to see you as a sex object, right? You say, oh, well, this person sexually harassed me, where you want to be taken seriously as a professional. And instead, everybody's saying, oh, she was sexually harassed. Uh, and there's a little elbow, <laughs> that's right? That's true. No, right? it's very and true. And it's very true. And so that's part of it. It's like the, what the offender did to you by treating you as a sex object, you then would have Becomes, to have a, a second you, you time You are around. then defined exactly. by, by that. Defined let's, by let's take a look at this. The Teen Vogue columnist and feminist Emily Linden took to Twitter. And she said this, here's an unpopular opinion. I'm actually not at all concerned about innocent men losing their jobs over false sexual assault harassment allegations. Now, you have said also that you believe that everybody should use their judgment. So absolutely, do you I mean, believe that of... we should not believe the women? No, no, look, I mean, I, these, these slogans are not helpful. You know, believe all the women. Well, you can't possibly believe all women, right? You have to look at each individual case and in all the facts and circumstances and then determine whether it seems all in all that the person is telling the truth. I will tell you quite frankly that in the Matt Lauer situation, I don't know the truth, but if it's just one allegation um, after 20 years or whatever it is he's been with the network and they fired him over one allegation, that would seem possibly to be a little too hasty. Now, maybe they have other information. Maybe it wasn't just one. But I'm just who saying, who knows, but I'm point. just saying it is important not to railroad people and not to get into a mob justice mentality. And, and for that woman to say it's okay if innocent men are, are found guilty, no, it's never okay to do that. Everybody deserves the benefit of the doubt. Everybody deserves the presumption of innocence. That much having been said, we clearly have an avalanche of this kind of behavior. And when will it stop? I don't know. It's a sea um, change. It does seem to be. It feels like something really has changed um, under our feet, which is a good thing. And Gretchen Carlson, a uh, former colleague of mine at Fox News, really kicked this off yeah. when she took to task the chairman of Fox News CEO Roger Ailes for sexual harassment and got $20 million. Listen, my hat is off to Gretchen Carlson. I mean, smart cookie. She took her iPhone into that meeting with her and left it on record. So, I mean, she had him dead to rights. There was absolutely nothing he could say. And so that's why I think she got that big settlement. And, and God bless her because it has given other women the courage to, um, to also stand up for themselves. And I don't know, you know, there, there are just moments in a culture when things change. I think Trump being in the White House has a lot to do with it. Oh, and I'm hearing <laughs> rap in my rap. ear. Are you kidding, Moda? <laughs> 
they couldn't get him, right? And so they are trying to get everybody else. Interesting. It's, yeah. Yeah. Mona Charon, <laughs> Senior Fellow at the Ethics and Public Policy Center. Thanks for joining us. My pleasure.